What do you think about this year's final eight? It's quite interesting. Uh, yesterday we saw four uh, games. Uh, all four was uh, with quite good water polo, with quite good fight, very physical. Uh, Hanover, Vaspo Hanover uh, made a very good impression uh, on me because uh, they they were they were playing a, a quite equal game with Prodeco. Uh, after that, the the Olympiakos um, Brescia uh, game was a very big fight, and it was on one goal. Uh, of course, speaking about the, the opening game, Ferenc Varos uh, beat Jug uh, Dubrovnik. I think uh, quite uh, with a quite decent uh, and solid. Uh, performance. They were leading by 10 to 6, and at the end they they could relax. So that's why it uh, it melted to to 10 to 9. Everyone's talking about how young uh, Yug Dubrovnik is. So what do you think about their performance specifically? Uh, Yug Dubrovnik is always a, a strong team, uh, whether they are young or old. Uh, I think. There weren't too much names that I didn't know before, so they they must not be so young. I think they are at the perfect age. Uh, also in Hungary, we are trying to to take uh, up uh, much younger guys, uh, so we are looking for the 2001, two and three born guys. Who do you think is the the possible winner this year? Uh, we are at the semi finals, so there are four very good teams. Uh, Proreco played uh, a very solid water polo, beating everybody uh, home and away uh, in the group. Uh, but uh, last year we saw Olympiakos to make uh, some uh, unexpected result. And uh, Mm, today, my my favorite game, uh, Ferenc Varos and Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona won two times, but I think Ferenc Varos is strong enough to beat them tonight.